Hi everyone, Brian from Bearable Traders here, Sunday, May 5th, and I'm just going to do a weekly recap and look ahead at what we got coming during the week. Just saw something coming across the newswire about maybe the White House adding on some more tariffs on China. Uh, disappointment about how the, maybe the trade talks are progressing, so I don't know if that's probably going to maybe weigh on the market on Monday. But we'll see what happens. You know, these markets have a way of always finding a way back. And you can see here Friday we had a strong job number. Uh, Economy is looking good in the U.S., so markets all gapped up and then moved higher. Strong day, and still bulls seem to be in control. Lots of new highs, very little new lows. Lots of advanced decline line, pretty pretty high on the advanced side. So market's still looking looking like they want to go higher and let's just take a quick look at what we got for the groups that are performing well we got consumer goods consumer I guess people think the consumer is healthy and they're going to be spending money so the money is going in the consumer goods industrial goods financials and healthcare seem to be turning around a bit here and uh, financials have been back going back up so uh, yeah and technology is falling back a little bit here so we'll see what happens next week and we'll take a look at the indexes here next see how things are looking on each of the indexes here's the 10-year treasury as I said here I kind of felt we we're, we we're going to chop in this range this two and a half to 2.6 range now I think that's kind of where we're going to be stuck but we'll be watching to see if that breaks down or breaks up but right now as long as the interest rates stay low uh, markets probably going to go higher see the index on the day Dow was up obviously on the week let's take a look at the weekly you can see it was actually off a little bit during the week uh, but we just seem to be stalled out here at this level of prior resistance so again I think we're kind of going to be stuck here for a while uh, possibly we consolidate before we move higher or possibly roll over we'll see the small caps the IWM it looks like it actually had a breakout day yesterday. Let's take a look at it on the week. And you can see here it actually is breaking out on the weekly. Now the small caps have been lagging the other indexes, the QQs and the SPY have been making new highs, whereas this index is still well off, <clears throat> excuse me, well off its, its prior high back here from August. So, you know, it's got a lot of room to make up, and so maybe we'll look at the TNA for a trade uh, and see if uh, the the uh, weeklies can still continue on their um, run up to uh, previous highs. Again, QQQs. Let's look at the weekly. You know, <clears throat> struggled to go higher on on the week, kind of pulled back and then came back up again. It is in new high territory, and seems to be maybe stalling out a little bit here. And finally, the S&P 500, the large caps, again, made a, made a new high, but, you know, pulled back on the week, came back up, and uh, another high. But, uh, again, seems to be, seems at this point to be running out of steam. So, so we'll see what happens in the coming week. The dollar, the dollar pulled back a bit here. You can see here on the daily. Friday, it really pulled back. See what the weekly looks like on the dollar. Again, we had a, a pullback week, so maybe we're going to get into a bit of a consolidation phase here as well on the dollar. Um, maybe it'll roll over, but we'll see uh, if we get some topping action here first. And let's see what else. Uh, we had the VIX. The VIX was down quite a bit on the, um, on the week just because the market was uh, strong on Friday. So you see we tried to pop up here and and the volatility just pulled right back when we had the strong day on Friday. So let's take a look at what we got on the actives. If I scale back a lot of my positions, we still have, I'm still in this AOBC. I'm still hoping it's going to break out here. It does seem to be continuing to make uh, higher lows, and we'll see if it can actually break this 10. Tried back here and kind of didn't, uh, didn't follow through, which was kind of a disappointment. Uh, then this weekly wasn't that doesn't look that great. So again, I'll be keeping a pretty tight eye watch eye on this and and probably stopping out if it doesn't uh, if it can't move off this level. 
And let's see what else have we got here. Labu we entered on Thursday or took an entry on Thursday at 47.6 and it really um, moved higher and it did that. It's one of the traders uh, in our room actually emailed me and I was actually looking at it and he said <clears throat> he flagged it as well which which I thought was good because I always like when people um, send me emails and suggest position so it you know came back nice double bottom here right off the resistance levels and it looks like my my 52 target is just a little shy of this 5250 which is where it stalled out before so I'm hoping we can get there next week so that was a nice uh, nice little pop on that trade from 4760 <clears throat> um, see what we got on watch Uh, we got Baba. I was watching Baba, but it was breaking out here. It's done a nice breakout. So, as I said already, we had some news come out this morning on Sunday uh, about you know more maybe more tariffs coming on China. So we'll see how the Chinese internet stocks. Because I was actually looking at some of them for a possible uh, long position. So we'll see how this uh, fans out. But it, you know if it does pull back, and quite often when they break out to new highs, they will check back to this breakout level before going higher so maybe we can get an entry back in here at 190 and uh, and then a tight stop on it say what below 188 and see if we can uh, if we can get back to see where the weekly the weekly it's much higher I think 210 up in the 210 areas when it topped out before so interesting uh, interesting possible setup here but we'll, we'll watch that for a possible entry and dust I'm always watching the nugget and dust trade doesn't it seems to maybe want to go higher so we'll be watching for maybe an ABCD pattern might break higher here but if the dollar weakens uh, um, this may roll over so keeping an eye on that again if the dollar uh, weakens here the uh, emerging market stocks will go up. It's an ETF, so we'll keep an eye on that one and the dollar. Uh, someone else in emailed me a suggestion about Intel. Intel actually looks interesting here at 50. Um, it does look like it's got some prior support here and here. It did a significant drop here and uh, came back to that level and, and held the 50 level. So it could be an interesting level to trade against. Um, taking a position because you've got a lot of potential upsides. You got 52 here is kind of one level, then maybe here at 53. Um, you know, you've got levels all along up here where it could pause 55, and then the gap fill here at uh, 57. So if the if the market stays strong throughout the year, and you know we have a you know, and everyone's talking about a strong second half of the year. I mean, I can see Intel coming back up here. You got 54 again here at uh, on a moving average. So I can see Intel coming back here. So maybe on a bit of a pullback, we get one on Monday, might actually make for a nice entry on Intel. And thank you for one of our members for emailing that suggestion to me. This was one I was looking at an ETF. This is the uh, Chinese internet stocks. Again, I'm, uh, you know, given the news that came out, uh, we'll see if this pulls back. It does look like it's breaking out here. Let's take a look on the weekly. What's going on with that? It's got you know it's got some nice upside. Uh, missed missed this uh, obviously all all the a lot of stocks sold off into December and then came right back up. Had this V reversal, nice consolidation pattern here, and we seem to be breaking higher. And we've got a lot of uh, we you know we've got a lot of areas here much higher where where we could go to, particularly if there is a trade deal eventually. So. We'll uh, maybe keep an eye on that. Again, that might be a nice entry if we can get it back down here around 47. And, uh, you know, that would be uh, that would be a decent entry. Let's see what else we got here. Let's skip ahead to SMH. This is a semiconductors. Again, I think they're kind of stalled out here. I, I'm not sure if we're going to, at least for a while anyway. TNA, again, I was talking about the IWM. Small caps may have an opportunity to play more to the upside. Let's take a look at the weekly on TNA ETF. You can see here we're right at a level. And if we can break above that, then we've got maybe this level here at 80. We've got a lot of upside there. 
uh, on the TNA trade. So maybe watch for a little bit of a pullback on that, get on this news. And let's see here what else we got. I always watch the natural gas. Again, just seems to be sort of choppy. It doesn't seem to be trending one direction or another right now. Always keeping an eye on it. And uh, we've really had a significant pullback on the oil. And came back down to this 50 moving average. So we may actually find some, some support here. Um, prior support is around 18 on this level here. And we're at 1936. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. Maybe getting a, a bit of a bounce if the markets are strong and the uh, you know, economy, if people think the economy is strong, oil should uh, at least hold its price up in this level here. So we'll see what happens with that. So there's some opportunities here to trading and uh, we'll be keeping an eye on how the markets open on Monday. Like I said, we'll see how the, the markets react to this uh, latest news out of the White House and we'll maybe get some entries because you know these pullbacks are always uh, seem to be opportunities to enter so that's it guys this is my book it's on amazon how to swing trade uh, pick it up if you have a chance if you haven't already and so we'll see everyone who's in our bear bull trading room we'll see you on in the day trading room in the morning hope you have a great great rest of the weekend everybody take care and see you tomorrow Oh, and by the way, sorry, one other thing, um, I will be going on the Bear Bull Trading Room around 11.30 to 12.30. We'll be talking swing trading. If people have uh, ideas for swing trades or have questions about swing trading, I will be on from 11.30 till 12.30. That's Pacific time. That would be 2.30 to 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. And I will be putting out, I will be doing like what I'm going to call an ETF Monday which is uh, on Monday night I'll do a video and I'll just go through some of the popular ETFs and I'm just going to focus on ETFs and we'll just talk about uh, some of those ETFs that are trading and where each sector is is trading in the market right now so all right that is it have a good one everyone bye for now